180! First back is Wes rolling first. Game on. So Wes Newton, a man who has won on the European Tour, won in Sindelfing and beat Paul Nicholson, who we just mentioned actually. Beat him in a last leg thriller. 121. Called it the best win of his career. You know what he's got in his locker, Wes Newton. A couple of major finals. 59. Well, when we put him in the Premier League last year, you know, we were half expecting that it would affect his darts because the Premier League crowd can be hostile sometimes. But he conducted 59. himself, adapted himself very well to it. And uh, there's no question it's made him a stronger player in front of all crowds now. Oh, Mark Dudbridge comes to the party with a 180 in his second visit. Just to let you know, Jamie Caven over on the second stage, 5-2 up on Mike Langendorf. Caven, another man in form, been playing some really good stuff over the last few months, really. 97. Yeah, there's a lot of players coming on form, moving into the World Championships. We've got the Grand, uh, the Grand Slam coming up early November in Wolverhampton, but um, certainly for that, and then the World Championships, a lot of players are coming on form. You know, we keep saying every tournament we have is the best, but I'm really looking forward to the World Championship. Starts on the 13th of December at Ali Pali, North London, and uh, I think we're going to have a cracker. I really think. And I think we're going to see some big names go out in the first round because of the, the standard in depth. Yeah, you look at some of those players who are just 60. outside the top 32, Marguerite playing some decent stuff. The likes of Ross Smith we've seen, seen today. But even players... 19. Oh. Where's your requirement? 141. Oh, unfortunate there. He was looking to double 16 and gone next door. Wes can't take this out. 97. Oh, Mark double, 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 double 9 19. for a break of throw. That's two good darts, but they're close, but Nuzgul. they're not close enough. And you can see Where's Mark Dubridge, his face, the expression said it all. A chance to break Wes Newton in the first leg, but now Newton double top. Game and it always happens play. against a player that's Where's playing Newton? well at the moment. You Second let him off, and they're going to punish you. It's unlucky because Mark Dubridge totally outscored Wes Newton in that first leg. 100. Yeah, so that 180 in the. First leg for Dudbridge, pretty much in vain. And now Wes, oh, looking to fill up. That looked a really good 99. dart for him. Always has that sort of lean away, sort of arching his back, Wes, as he throws. Joe Collin does a good impression, actually, of uh, Wes Newton. Does a good impression of a few players, so. Joe Cullen. I wish I could do an impression of Phil Taylor. I wouldn't be sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be playing darts if I could do that impression. 96. Yeah, you see, Mark is very upright. An old-fashioned throw Mark Dubridge has got. A couple of lovely darts in the 19s for Flash. That is begging for a 180. One and he duly delivers. That's a great three darts, and he got away with it because if he hit the 20, he would have left a bogey number there, Wes Newton. But the risk was the worth the reward. And sometimes that's what you do. Now, treble 19 will leave him the bullseye. May go 16s. He's going up for the 20s, though. 58. So a chance here for Dubridge Mark to get this leg back, and it is with the throw, so he needs to hang on to it. Will he go to bullseye or treble 18? Treble 18 is bigger, that leaves double 18. 78. Where should well, again, we see him go for a double and slide into the, the next number along. Wes Newton now has to come down for double two. 64. Well, Mark that was a chance. 32. Well, he hit the four going for the 36. So he wants double eight now. Now the double four. 
Well, there's a little bit of a snatch there, wasn't there? It was. It was. Not, a... not seen that in Mark's throw before. It even looked unnatural. It did. It was like watching a sort of Richie Burnett last dart. There was no limbs all over the place, Mark but Wes Newton has let him off the hook here. We'll get Peter Hudson back. He'll show you how to hit it. Doesn't need him. Bridge, Another leg that goes to double Rupert. one this evening. But the double one is a double. And he makes it one leg all. And Dubbridge could easily be 2-0 up. Missed those three darts at double nine in the first leg. Mark Dubbridge. What a way to start that leg off. He's unlucky there. Really did look like he was going to nestle a third dart between the other two. Can Wes show him how it's done? Well, those two look pretty good. And the third one looks just as good. Well, show him how it's done. He does. Six darts thrown for Newton. He's already down to a six dart finish. He's going to get minimum six darts, probably nine darts from here. It's at least one treble. And gets it to leave him on a two-darter. Mark Dubbridge just failing to find a second maximum. But Newton... Finds the trouble he wants, double eight for a 2-1 lead. And there it is, 96, very efficiently taken out by Wes Newton. Yeah, great 12-dart leg on your throw. You're not going to lose many for obvious reasons. He needs a nine to beat you, and they are few and far between. Well, there's been loads this year. You're not going to be beaten with 12-dart legs on your throw. So now it's up to Dubbridge to hold his throw. Both players are now starting to get warmed up. I mean, the pace of both players will suit each other. There isn't one slow or one quick. They're both at about the same pace. 81. Yeah, certainly into a rhythm now, this game, isn't it? Both guys 99. usually finding one treble on each visit. I don't know why uh, Mark didn't stay down the bottom. The treble 19 looked great, didn't it, you know? He got a line and length on there. 140. Ton 40 leaves him on a bogey, unfortunately, Newton. So Dudbridge knows he's got six darts from here. It's how well he can set it up with these first three. 45. And it ain't that well. Uh, the 20 would have given an outside chance on the 125, but the 140 is going to be a tough one. Well, Wes left a, a, a bogey well, number. Sometimes you just can't help that. Mark he hit the 60 to leave the 162, but he set it up perfectly. But now Mark Dubridge. Oh, and that looks beautiful for another one. Well, I really can't. I mean, we do say well, go for the double top, double top. But when you've got a treble sitting that good, and it's funny that the third dart went in there, as Newton hits the 32 to go 3 1 up, I would there have stayed on that treble 20. Well, his third dart showed how good that first dart was because he slammed it straight into the treble 20. And granted, look, if his second dart goes in the double top, he thinks, well, I've got a great lie to stick another one in there. But, but when we talk about, you know, dart players, the first dart is so important to get it in the right position. And when it's in the perfect position, it's so easy to follow it up. And the first dart there of Mark Dubbridge was absolutely what we call plum. Oh, 140s from both guys to kick off this leg. And Wes Newton looking Whoa. to fill it up. And that's 180 number three for Wes Newton. 3-1 up and he's getting better as this game goes on. I mean, his average was down in the sort of 80s for the opening couple of legs. As Dubbridge puts in a 140 of his own. But Newton... That average is creeping up and up. He's slowly warming up into this one. 
Well, we see the, the nine dart uh, average there up at 119, Whoa, which is exceptional. You know, they, they look to throw around about 112 to 115, they'd settle for. But anything up pushing the 120 is, is really brilliant. 105. And this is another strong leg. The last leg on his throw was 12. Oh, this could be a 12 as well. Yeah, a two 12 darts on his throw. Literally unbeatable on his throw at the moment. Wes You always say, you know, the one thing you don't do is, is give your throw away easy. And certainly, Mark Dubridge is going to have to throw nine darters to, to get him back into this leg, into this game. Ninety-nine. Yeah, this is the kind of form we've seen from Wes Newton that's taken him, you know, 16. fought his way into the Premier League. He was a bit put out when he didn't make the Premier League before this year. He thought he was doing enough. He always had that target in mind. But he, he, he kind of 54. produced the form which, which meant you couldn't turn him down. And yeah, it was tough for him. Anybody going to the Premier League is going to find it tough. Yeah, I mean, it, people like don't understand. When you're playing on the tour and you have a bad weekend, you can always get a, an easier draw the following week and get a few w uh, wins under your belt. But in the Premier League, you can't. You're playing one of the best players on form every Thursday. You lose one Thursday, you come in and you get hammered the next Thursday, then hammered the next Thursday. And it really is tough. You know, we talked about how hard Mark Webster found it. So Mark Dobridge fails to find his second maximum of the match. I mean, look at those averages there, 114. That's, that's where you'd want it to be, Wes. And it's only going to climb here, because that is 180 number four. And what a time to hit it. Really has put the pressure on the Dobridge throw. He's got to go for 19s now. It's treble 18. That will leave the ball. So again, he ain't going to get a visit. So now Newton, treble 17, leaves him the double 16. And he wants a double 16. Game Brilliant five. darts from Wes Newton. Really oh, is playing. Over 100 Six average, over the 115 for the first nine dart average. And certainly now sets it up to close the match out. There you see it. That is a real high performance. And it's not too shabby from Mark Dubridge. But we go back to that first leg when Mark Dubridge had three clear darts at double nine. You know, how that would have changed the game, we don't know. Yeah, those three clear ones at double 90. He, he could have given himself a shot at that 140 as well. Uh, and, yeah, it was only a half chance. But if you're playing a guy who's thrown over 100 average, they're the ones you're going to have to take. It's the kind of shot that James Wade probably would have taken out and really knocked the stuffing out of West. And he might not be throwing a 100 average now because of that. Absolutely exactly right. You know, the half chance is... Are the only chances you get and uh, if you don't take them you lose and at times you do take them and you go on and win and you you turn it around against your opponent but certainly Wes now you know very confident throw and you can see by that them two darts there you know hits the treble five with the first one and just slams in the other two in the treble 20 sign of a very confident player yeah it's been very impressive stuff from Wes Newton stuttering start but just got better and better and better. It won't be a big Hollywood finish for him. 100. But he'll set it up quite nicely. Because Flash, well, he could be gone in a flash. 135. Perhaps a little bit of a snatch there with the last dart when it was begging for a, a 180. But where's Newton at double top? And it's a 44 checkout for Wes Newton to complete the 6-1 win. Slow to start, but he got better and better. 180!